From mysterious aircrafts to strange lights in the sky, here are nine UFO sightings from around the world. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to They Will Kill You. Hit the like button and request any topics you'd like to learn about in the comments section below. Number 9. Pori, Finland Around 20 pilots on a training camp at the Air Force of Finland observed seven yellow spheres appear in the sky on December the 4th, 1969. They were training in Pori in southwest Finland and hovering approximately 6,600 feet above the airfield when they saw the unidentified flying objects. The seven yellow spheres were also seen on radar, but nobody could tell what they were. Pilot Tamo Tukeva was ordered to go check out the strange sighting, but when he approached the location with his jet, the spheres started to move in formation, speeding away towards the north. They reportedly flew so fast, his jet couldn't keep up. There were winds of 114 miles per hour at the time, but the objects still managed to reach incredible speeds. The Air Force of Finland was never able to provide an explanation for this strange encounter. It's the only UFO case officially acknowledged by the institution. Number 8. Trans en Provence, France Retired farmer Renato Nicolai was working in his garden outside the town of Trans en Provence in the evening of January the 8th, 1981. It was around 5 p.m. when he heard a strange whistling sound and looked up to see what he thought was an experimental aircraft. The object was shaped like two saucers sitting one on top of the other and was about eight feet in diameter. The unidentified object landed about 100 feet from him. However, Nikolai claimed the UFO took off almost immediately, leaving burn marks on the ground where it allegedly landed. The following day, the farmer notified the gendarmerie of what he'd seen. Officers interviewed Nikolai and took photos of the scene and collected soil samples. The case was then sent to a study group for unidentified airspace phenomena called Gaipan. Renato Nikolai's sighting ended up being the most carefully documented sighting of all time. Even though the French government found evidence of compacting and heating of the soil near the scene, a black substance, metallic in nature and also depleted chlorophyll plants around the site, there's still no explanation for what happened. Number 7. Tehran, Iran During the early hours of September the 19th, 1976, two Iranian Air Force F-4 Phantom II jet interceptors reported loss of instrumentation and communications. They just spotted a very bright, unidentified flying object over Tehran and approached it in order to investigate. The Imperial Iranian Air Force Command Post at Tehran received four reports from civilians of unusual activity in the night sky, so two pilots went to investigate. One of the aircraft also reported a failure of the weapon system as the crew was preparing to open fire. As they got further from the object, their instrumentation and communications were reportedly restored. The UFO also appeared on radar and its signature resembled that of a Boeing 707 aircraft. Many skeptics have several potential explanations for the incident. Nevertheless, it's regarded by a number of UFO researchers to be one of the first encounters ever recorded. Number 6. Melbourne Australia. For approximately 20 minutes, more than 200 students and teachers at two state schools in Melbourne, Australia, witnessed the UFO descending into a nearby open field around 11 a.m. on April the 6th, 1966. Witnesses reported seeing a disc-shaped silver craft landing in a paddock near a high school and then taking off once again. The unidentified craft was in full view of hundreds of people for over 20 minutes. Some witnesses reported private aircrafts were approaching to investigate. However, they were unable to get close enough to see what the UFO was all about because it soon rose from the trees and flew into the sky at high speeds. There were investigations, but the Royal Australian Air Force reported no military activity in that area. Moorabin Airport was also checked but reported no aircraft 
had entered the area at that time. It remains one of Australia's most debated unsolved UFO cases. Number 5. Socorro, New Mexico, USA Several residents in different parts of Socorro, New Mexico reported seeing a low-flying object on the night of April 24, 1964. Some described loud sounds resembling the takeoff and landing of a powerful craft. A Socorro police officer on duty that night, Lonnie Zamora, was baffled by the blue light rising in the air. At first, he thought he was seeing flames. He was actually in a high-speed chase when he decided to investigate the flames. Thinking he'd find a crash or a minor shack explosion, Zamora went in the direction of the light. He heard a roar that lasted for 10 seconds and then stopped. As he was struggling to get his car up a hill, he noticed a shiny object resembling a white car with two people standing close by. Zamora drove towards them, but they left before he could approach them. He got a closer look at the object and described it as being oval, made of aluminium with no windows or doors. Soon, a bluish flame shot out of the bottom of the object and it took off quickly and silently, vanishing before Zamora could radio in what he'd just seen. The case was investigated by the Army, Air Force and the FBI. However, nobody could come up with an explanation for what Officer Lonnie Zamora saw that night. The case is still listed as an unknown. Number 4. Japan Airlines Flight 1628 On November 7, 1968, Airlines Flight 1628, a Japanese Boeing 747 cargo aircraft, was en route from Paris to Narita, Tokyo. At 5.11 p.m. while flying above Reykjavik, the crew noticed two unidentified objects to the left of the aircraft. The UFOs rose from below and both seemed to have rectangular arrays of what appeared to be glowing thrusters or nozzles. When they closed in, the cabin was reportedly lit up and Japanese captain Kenju Terauchi could feel heat on his face. After a couple of minutes, the two flying objects departed and a larger disc-shaped object started trailing the aircraft. The pilots quickly requested a change of course, so Anchorage Air Traffic Control requested an oncoming United Airlines flight to confirm the unidentified traffic. However, a military craft sighted Japan Airlines Flight 1628 at about 5.51 p.m. and was not able to distinguish any other craft. The sighting lasted 50 minutes, according to the crew, and ended in the vicinity of Mount McKinley. The plane changed course again for Anchorage. In the aftermath of the incident, Captain Kenju Terauchi was grounded for talking to the press. Kyodo News contacted the FAA in Anchorage on December the 24th and received confirmation of the incident. After a three-month investigation, FAA Public Information Officer Paul Stuckey stated they didn't have enough evidence to confirm the flying objects were there after earlier suggesting that their controllers confirmed the UFO. Number 3. Pretoria South Africa A heart-shaped UFO allegedly stunned residents from Boysons, Pretoria for two consecutive nights in July 2010. The unidentified object consisted of three almost blinding lights which hovered in the sky for approximately two hours without moving. The lights reportedly appeared for the first time on the evening of August the 21st, shortly after sunset. At around 8.30 p.m., the UFO slowly began moving diagonally to the left and downwards until disappearing beyond the horizon. The next day after sunset, the three lights once again appeared. Residents using binoculars still couldn't figure out what the object was due to its strange shape. The lights began moving again, then disappeared. The incident was reported to the Hercules Police Station, the Johannesburg Planetarium and the South African Air Force. Number 2. New Jersey Turnpike, USA Motorists traveling on the New Jersey Turnpike the night of July the 14th, 2001 were dazzled by an unusual sight. They stopped alongside a highway as they noticed mysterious orange and yellow lights in a V formation above the Arthur Kill waterway. Witnesses later reported they saw approximately 16 lights in the sky 
around 15 minutes after midnight. The lights moved quietly and flickered as they started vanishing into the night, one by one. Air traffic controllers on duty that night denied any sightings. However, the New York Strange Phenomena investigators claimed to have obtained FAA radar data that confirmed the UFO. At least 15 people contacted the police department in order to report the sightings that night. Officials were never able to explain the phenomenon. Number 1. North Carolina, USA 35-year-old Javion Hill caused quite a controversy on social media after posting a photo of a UFO in August 2018. Hill, a self-proclaimed skeptic of such encounters, photographed a strange, square-lighted object hovering in the sky. He took the photo while driving along US Highway 74, southwest of Charlotte, thinking a tornado was coming. However, he soon noticed the unusual object in the sky and tried to pull over to start filming. The object reportedly disappeared quickly and rain began to fall. As of now, officials still have no explanation regarding Hill's sighting. According to the National UFO Reporting Center in Washington State, North Carolina is in the top 10 American states when it comes to UFO sightings.